Before we get started, I just want to confirm that you can hear me and you can see me. <laughs> just because I'm using uh, a wireless mic. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I got my chat on my phone because I'm going to try and go wireless here today. Uh, just so we can try and move around a little bit, but I am using my uh, computer, so that might be a little bit difficult. But I want to show you uh, the entire studio today. I'm just hoping that it's working. <laughs> Hello, what's going on? Oh, I got to mute mine though. Yeah, so I've been uh, working in here pretty much all week, and uh, we've made some construction progress today. So what's going on? Hello, Luke. Welcome, Mi welcome, Michael. How's it going, Adam? What's going on, Dan? Welcome, Liam. Lego Ninjago, how are you? Welcome, the Duck Kid. Hey, hey, what's going on? Banana Brick Studios. Yo, 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 it shouldn't be that dark. <laughs> I don't think it's dark, is it? No, it, it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> What's going on, Luis? Hello, welcome, Warren. How's it going? Jordan Sanders, welcome. How are you? Welcome, everyone. Hello, the Brick Twins. How you doing, Sean? How many people we got here? 600 people. That's pretty awesome. Welcome, everyone. Hope you are doing fantastic today. Hey, thank you so much. Nearly two years of memory. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate it, man. What's up from uh, Southwest Idaho? Hello. Trevor Bricks, how are you, man? Welcome, Robert. How are you? The studio's looking awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Johnny. I appreciate it, man. So I got chat on my phone, my computer set up over there. You know what I regret not bringing is a wheel. Uh, I regret not putting wheels on my legs so I can wheel you guys around. I'm going to have to put uh, that on my list for things to bring. So when I do a, a live stream, I can wheel you around with me. Live, baby. What's going on? J Bob, how you doing, man? Welcome. Remember for 34 months, what's going on? Uh, Trevor Bricks, how are you, man? Robert, let's go in the new studio. What's going on? Ryan Connor, Mark Olson, how are you? Welcome uh, from, from Sweden land. Hey, one year member. Thank you so much. How's it going, Trenton Cook? You've been watching me from the start. Well, thank you, man. What's going on, Paul Bonnie? Hello, welcome from the UK. How's the weather? Uh, Edmonton right now is actually at an all-time all high. How crazy is that? An all-time high. I'm the best. Well, thank you. What's going on from Wales? How you doing? Remember, for 20 months, how, how you doing there, Warren? Thank you so much for coming on by, man. What's going on, Louise? Hey, Kellyanne, how are you? I'm trying to keep up with chat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What's going on, Neil Lovelock? Remember, for 13 months, how's it going? Adele, remember, for 22 months, thank you so much. Trevor, how you doing, man? What's, hello, Elizabeth. There's a thousand people here, holy cow. So I didn't bring any Lego today to build because, I don't know. I've been working on like construction and stuff all day. You could probably hear it over here. The furnace is blowing. I can put you right into the wind of it. <laughs> so the furnace is blowing and I'm pretty happy about that. Hey, Chief Bricks 56 thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Elizabeth's member for 40 months. Pretty awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, when am I bringing the beard back? I actually just removed the beard like a number of days ago. I had, I had the beard back and then I, uh, I got rid of it. It's a beautiful day in Spokane. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful day here. Like it's uh, way up there. I haven't really been outside much. I've been mostly cooped up in here all day. It's 12 degrees in the UK. Brickster, what's going on? How you doing, man? You're done what? Good evening, what's going on? Pop Reviews, how are you? Hello from Florida, Roman T. So many hellos, I say hello to everybody here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, today I just wanted to answer any questions that you have about this place. I don't have any Lego to build here today, but I just wanted to answer any questions and just sort of show you the place live because I, I figured we may as well. What did I have for breakfast today? Raisin bran. <laughs> That's a good question, man. What's going on, Kelly? How are you doing, Craig? When does the suspension from land end? I think it's, I think May or June. Yeah, I think it's May. It's going to be May. 
What's going on from uh, South Carolina? Hello from Florida. How are you? Hello from Houston, Master Builder Kid. The man, Brixie. Thank you, BK. What's going on? Hello from Hawaii. What's going on, Scarlet B? It's, for, it's 40 degrees in Chicago. Holy cow. That's crazy, man. Chat is moving so quickly. It is indeed. I'm keeping on top of it, though. Hello from Louisiana. Welcome. What's going on? Uh, no Lego, so I'm out. Oh, you're out of Lego for the for the meantime. Oh, oh no Lego here, so you're out. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's the deco quote coming along? So I didn't hear about them today, uh, but the plan would be to... Um, so what I was thinking is, if we were to do the decal of the sky, the decal of the sky would come all the way to here, and it would go right to the floor, and it would span right up to below the old heating unit. This, uh, this tan thing up in the sky, that is uh, an old heating unit. And what we would do is actually uh, do it right up to the bottom of that, and it would go all the way around. And then we'd do the same thing on that side there. And then we'd put a skirt or a big curtain on the back wall. And that would sort of match the theme of the decal. So yeah, we're, we're still working on the logistics of that. Um, decal, not mural. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know about a mural. I, uh, I got some quotes on murals, but they were insanely expensive. So, so yeah, it's unfortunate. It's lagging now. Well, hmm. What's going on from uh, Germany? How are you doing? Yeah, so I'm still working on the uh, logistics of that. I'm hoping it, it comes together nicely. And then uh, the heater. So right now we got the furnace installed. There was a, a slight delay with that, a slight uh, issue with the execution of that. But I'm working on uh, having that fixed right away. And then uh, the actual uh, garage heater. So the garage heater that's going to run through the center. So it's going to be like 30 feet. So it's going to start right about where you guys start. So right about here. And then it's going to run through the center until it meets up with this old unit right there. And then we're going to vent it out there. And they're going to remove that. So it's going to be pretty cool. Hello from Scotland. What up? What's going on, Paul? How are you doing? Welcome, new members. Thank you so much, uh, Mark, for joining Superbrick. I appreciate it. And thank you so much, uh, Stefan, member for 33 months. Pretty cool. Thank you, man. What's going on, Gary? Yeah, I was uh, getting, I just can't really find a good mural artist that would do it for relatively cheap. And the thing about doing the mural is we wouldn't be able to do the mural on the back. So we would have to do a curtain no matter what on the back, right? So there are the two options of either doing the deco or the mural, or we could do like a, a hybrid of that. We could paint it so we could start dark at the top and sort of get lighter as we go down. And then we could put some clouds in. But... I feel like uh, that might not be as, as good as um, as getting the full decal. Hey, just want, hey thank you so much. Uh, Digilena says, I uh, just wanted to say hi. Uh, my husband and I enjoy watching your journey together. Well, thank you so much. Glad you enjoy it. I enjoy, um, I enjoy doing it too. And this is sort of, this has been the dream for me and Mrs. Brixie to have our very own studio outside of our home. So, we're excited about having like a place of work where we can come and, and hang out and, and have fun with the kids here too and just have like a crazy studio. So uh, thank you for that. I, I do highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Chase says, I'm Batman. <laughs> I believe him too. Uh, will members be able to visit the studio? At this point, I have not decided how I would um, do the visiting of the studio. So at this point... It's a, it's a no, but it's still up in the air as to how I can work out the logistics of having people come here. Uh, you can paint the ugly heater a sky blue to match the backdrop. Well, we are removing the heater. Uh, they're coming in here with the scissor lift on uh, Thursday, and they're installing the big infrared heater and removing that heater. I don't want to have that in the sky. I was joking with them, though. I was telling them that maybe what we could do is paint that red and then put some Lego studs on it and make it look like a two-by-two two Lego brick. <laughs> What's going on, Bricks, Brick Monkey? Welcome. Kids Corner in the studio. 
Uh, we're going to have like a kid-friendly space up top. Um, I can bring you up top there and show you around, but there's not really much happening up there right now. I do have a TV up there, though. <laughs> it's just not really plugged in right now. Uh, welcome to Support Break. Thank you so much, uh, Angel, in the New Zealand. In New Zealand. Uh, I'm glad your dream came home. Own a big studio is a bit, or owning a studio is a big step. Well, thank you, Yoda. Do or do not, right? Glad I didn't do the glass panels. Yeah, you know, glass panels would have been cool. It sort of would have changed the feel, but I sort of wanted to go for more storage. Um, yeah. Morning, Solena. How are you? Dave Bricks and Effects. How are you? So come Thursday, when we get the, the heater installed, that is going to wrap up the heat project. So then electrical is done and heating is done. So then we're ready to move on to the, the final touches. I've got my big stacks of carpet tile here. This is like the last, last, last thing that we're going to be doing. Um, but before that, we're going to be uh, framing a wall around the heat room. We're going to be building the railing up there. We're going to do some painting and fin find sh finishing touches. We're going to fix the bathroom. We're going to finish the staircases or the staircase. We're going to put carpet on the staircase. Then we're uh, good to go. Uh, are you getting any outside help to grow your city? Uh, at this point, no. Uh, it's just me and Jose, really. <laughs> me, Jose, and the bulk, and bulk Lego pieces. <laughs> just going to be like a, a journey that we want to take on and, and sort of, I don't know. It's, it's going to be a lot, but <laughs> we're going to have to start small and then go from there. But I've sort of been like building stuff and putting it on reserve for a while. Like I've got like these big modules underneath the Lego city right now so that we can, um, we can move those. Yeah, so then uh, we can bring you into this room too. It's funny though, I brought my USB extenders and then I realized that the, uh, the webcam that I brought is not, is, is not uh, compatible with USB extenders because it's a USB-C hookup. <laughs> Whoops. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to use like USB extenders and then I can wheel them all around everywhere. And then it's like, oh, right. The webcam doesn't have USB. It's USB-C. Oh, no. <laughs> sort of a fail. <laughs> and then I didn't realize that until like five minutes before, uh, before starting the stream. <laughs> we'll see. You're going to be a bit of a bumpy ride. But yeah, this is the front room. This will be, um, this will be the main shelving room. I'm excited to test the cameras, test this camera with the new lights, I guess. We'll blind you. Hey. So this will be uh, the shelving room. And uh, this, will be, this is the main shelving room, like the biggest one. And what we're going to do is see if I can zoom you out a bit here. But what we're actually going to do is... Um, we're gonna put shelving around all of these, these walls, and then we're gonna take shelves and we're gonna build them out this way so they come out like this. And this is gonna be like a little mud room that I'm gonna construct using like shelves for a Lego. And then, uh, so there'll be Lego there and it'll sort of wrap around that way. And then the Lego will probably resume like here and then go this way. And I was thinking I would put uh, PAX units on these walls so that we can fit all the bigger stuff. What's going on, Alex? Welcome. The bathroom is huge. No, I don't. I don't think the bathroom is huge. Is it? <laughs> camera does not like the lights. The camera doesn't like the natural lights. That I can confirm. That the natural light coming through the window. So I have decided that I am going to be blacking those out completely. Like these, uh, I've been really struggling with what to do here. So I put this like white plastic board in the window, but the light still comes through and the camera sort of struggles with it. Peter, what's going on, man? Welcome. So what I'm going to do is actually put the same people that are going to do design my vinyl for me. I'm going to get them to uh, get OPEC vinyl and they're going to put it on the window like tint, but it's going to be completely black. And it's going to black out those lights. So then it'll be better because what's happening is that light is sort of colliding with the light that's in here. Also, everything in here is all white. Like the walls 
are all white and everything. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Star Wars Motions and more, for joining. Chase Turner says, I am my, uh, he's my father, goodness. Uh, but I think once we get some Lego in here, some Lego shelves full of colorful Lego, then it's going to really help with the contrast. The thing is, is it's all just light, and then you sort of have the shadowing from there. So I think that's causing a little bit of problems there. In fact, I know it is. It's midnight, but I'm streaming. Oh, there you go. Paint the back wall green for a giant green screen, but I'm not that good, man. I don't know how to green screen. That's the issue. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to see like the most exciting room in the planet here? There it is. It's where all the business goes down. <laughs> But that's actually going to be a storage room. So what I'm going to do is uh, just make this my storage room because I have like a bunch of boxes and bubble wrap and ugly stuff that I'm going to have to store here. And I don't want that to be out and about in the open. So I'm going to put some of the, uh, the black shelves on all three walls in there. And then I'm just going to put all the stuff in there. In the washroom. <laughs> in the washroom, I tell you. And then, uh, and then this, this room right here. This will be my uh, my washroom with the porcelain throne. Where am I going to put the name bricks? It's a good. That's a good question. I don't know yet. They could probably they sh they could potentially remain on uh, one of the sides of the cabinets because they're still going to be oh the furnace turned off, so we actually hit the temperature where we're supposed to be at. My thermostat's reading 19. So there you go. Got a furnace that works. Check. Do you see the old? Oh yeah, and then right here. This is the um, this is the tube heater, so this is the infrared heater in this box, and they're going to install that. I'm keeping the old filter for nostalgia reasons. <laughs> uh, video has bittersweet as the twins have just surpassed Anastasia in speech and interaction. I don't know what that means. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, Peter for the uh, DKK Super Chat. How are you doing from Denmark? Our name bricks are important. They are. And we will, uh, we will find a good home for them for sure. You bet. Is the radiant heater installed? No, the radiant heater will be installed on uh, Monday. Or oh, sorry, Thursday. Today they finished the furnace. There was a funny dilemma in regards to that. I'll let you know in tomorrow's video. It was almost a disaster, but they have a solution. Uh, I may need to pop over to help with the, the Star Wars or I agree, man. Come on over. Come on over. Let's do it. <laughs> Can't wait to see the complete light by bricks. Yeah, I am going to be working on that. I think it's tomorrow. No, I'm here tomorrow. No, Wednesday is the day that I'm working on finishing the white my bricks uh, kit. Don't flush baby wipes. That's a hot tip. <laughs> How much clearance between the roll-up garage door and the light? Uh, they've specifically designed it so that there is clearance. So there is enough clearance there, yeah. Lots of rooms to store all the Lego boxes you recycled. No, no, no. Infamous, don't say things like that. <laughs> Either way, I wouldn't want those in here, man. The floor is looking great, is it? No, it's all right. It's actually in decent condition. I like the fact that there's no cracks in the floor. That's the, the number one concern. I, um, I love the, the fact that we can wheel around in here right now, though. The um, I'm trying to make my way to you. It's not working that well. I think it's easier to do this. <laughs> You're taking a vacation on Friday. Oh, nice. Uh, what does your Lego suspension... My Lego suspension. Lego has suspended me. Yeah, I um, think it's May. How tall is the big room? I think we decided it was... 17 feet. Where's the hot tub going? Right here. Right here. There might be some stormtroopers in a hot tub, but I don't know if I'll get one for myself. 
Uh, didn't have the possibility to keep track of your videos. Can you re-explain how you decided to change your previous room and use the bigger storehouse? Why I decided to? I don't understand. I don't understand your question. I'm sorry. If you do decals on the walls, where would the Lego art go? They would go above that. Yeah, they'd go around the ceiling. It's a good question. <laughs> but uh, the decals wouldn't go right to the ceiling. They'd only go up there. I don't know. That's a good question. They'd go above that. <laughs> I'm going to stick to that answer, I guess. Have I met my neighbors? Yeah. Is the new studio rental or did you buy? I, uh, I did buy the building, yes. Any crazy train layouts? Um, yeah, I was talking about the subway and how I want to do the subway going around the, uh, the bottom of the, the Lego city tables. So eventually what I'd like to do, I can't really bring it closer. I can't, but I'm wired. My computer's wired. That was a failure on my end. I need my wheel table. My wheel table. See if I can pull you closer. So the plan, there you go, it's a little bit better. So the plan is to, um, Put the city here, and for the, the thanks, Peter, I appreciate it. <laughs> so the plan is to um, is to put the city in the center, right? And then what I want to do is is have the trains underneath the the city tables. So you have the city tables, and then I'm going to build like a subway system that's underneath. So you'll see the trains will be circulating underneath the city, and then of course the Lego City itself will have like a bunch of different. Um, Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. That was funny. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool idea. Furnace just turned back on. It scared me. It spooked me. I wasn't used to that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the plan for the, uh, the subway. And then um, you guys are crookeder than I've ever seen you. Crooked. And then, of course, there'll be all sorts of train yard. There'll be like a train yard and all sorts of train stations and stuff just like in the Lego city. Yeah, so pretty cool. Am I going to Brickwell, Chicago this year? Uh, based on the expense that I'm incurring here, there will be no travel this year. I won't be going to Toronto, Bricks in the Six. I won't be going to Brick World. I won't be going to Denmark. I won't be going anywhere. <laughs> will I be getting a coffee machine? I already have a coffee machine. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> I haven't featured it yet, but yes, we will have a full coffee bar. Uh, Lego where should go on the wall on the front side of the staircase. It's a good idea. We could put it there, like you mean on this wall right there, but I sort of want to turn this into like a workstation, with shelves and stuff. So I'm, I'm iffy about that. What I could do is, I could put the art on the wall that is the pony wall. That might look pretty cool. Like for example, See if I can have enough slack to spin you here. So, no USB extenders was a fail. I brought the wrong webcam. Didn't even think of it. This is a USB-C webcam, and I brought regular USB. Uh... Let's see if I can pop up there, though. So, that's actually a pretty decent idea. What I could do is... You're looking at the uh, the new air return that we put in. The other one was like all rusted out and stuff. It's just sort of gross. So what we could do is we could put the art, like we're going to do the Brixie sign up here, and we're going to build a pony wall. We already have it framed. We just need to drywall it, and that pony wall is going to run along here and then turn 90 degrees and do it this way. And we could put the Lego art there, and I think that's a good solution. Just kidding. <laughs> what would you do if I just like superhero landed? <laughs> that would be pretty epic. I wish I had the strength. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, a, con a small contribution for fulfilling your dream. Regards from the Netherlands. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's not a small contribution. That is very generous of you, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Will you build a uh, really tall skyscraper in the new city? Potentially. 
I think uh, we have some skyscrapers that are uh, already ready to go that can be reintegrated. The couch will be going up here. And I think, uh, I think this is going to be where my mini fridge is. Uh, some of those Aket cabinets that I have from Ikea, probably stack two of them here and make this a little pantry right here. So put a little pantry and then the mini fridge and the microwave and a little coffee machine. And I think this is going to be my little hangout. Uh, there is a heat duct right here that we couldn't move. You can't see it. There's a heat duct right here. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put a bench right here. So there's like a little bench where you can sit and maybe like, you know, put stuff on. And I think it might be a chill little spot right here for the kitchen area. And then up here, there's probably going to be the couch right next to the kitchenette with the TV. And then there'll be like uh, filming tables and stuff and then the parts over there. So yeah, I could bring you up here and we could have a look at it together. Uh, I'm going to have to grab my laptop. It's going to get very, it's going to be a bumpy ride, everybody. It's going to be like, take it away, Aaron. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but I can, I can definitely try. <sighs> We can definitely try to go up there. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug my laptop. Let's make this as com compact as possible here. This could be dangerous. Hey, thank you so much, Bradshaw Studios. Hope you're doing well, man. Okay, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. If you have motion sickness, please shield your eyes. For me, I don't wanna make anybody sick. That would suck. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket. So I can grab my laptop and we can go up there and we can have a peek together. Shield your eyes, brace yourselves. <laughs> now you can see my, my forehead quite nicely. <laughs> it's a great forehead angle. Perfect. I was hoping that everybody was going to be checking out my forehead in this, in this video. That was my whole... My, my plan. A nice forehead shot. There we go. Let's do it like that. Perfect. So, um, if there's lag, don't mention it. Okay. Uh, so the number one pet peeve of uh, any live streamers when people mention lag. No, I'm not hardwired because I'm mobile. But uh, luckily for me, when we do get up here and we're actually chilling up here in the, in the Lego zone, I will be hardwired. So I was mentioning uh, <laughs> in the forehead zone. <laughs> Definitely saw some gray hairs. This project has definitely sprouted a few gray hairs in combination with, uh, with fatherhood. <laughs> so like I was saying over here, I'm thinking the kitchenette's going to go there. And then I think this is going to be a good spot for like the couch and the TV. So a little, little break zone over here, a little chill zone. And then uh, probably some like some tables and stuff on wheels over here. And then the part selection will go over here. Uh, closest to the stairs. So when you come up the stairs, the parts are going to be along this wall here. But yeah. But once again, I still got to black out these windows. I thought this was going to do it, but I, I just think that blacking them out. So I'm, I'm going I'm to go one of two ways. I'm going to put black vinyl on here, completely vinyl these windows, so they're just like black and you can't see. Or I'm going to get the roller shades similar to the ones that I put in my kids' rooms and put roller shades down. The problem with going the roller shade route is there will still be light coming through on the edge. There's no way to get the roller shades perfect. There will still be light coming through. So I am leaning toward the vinyl uh, just because I think that's going to be a little bit better. So I am going to go with the vinyl route. I'm glad that I tried this, but now that I see it like specifically here, I can really see that it's messing with the camera a little bit. Uh, wow, nice job. Thank you so much. Uh, fun to watch the DIY plus Lego. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You had a foam pit. A uh, foam pit. I should add a trampoline foam pit. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Tyler Tin as well. Jordan 
uh, build a base on the subfloor uh, other over the ducts, then you can utilize the space for over the bathroom storage for a single setup. Hey, that's a, that's a good idea. I mean, I don't think a subfloor would be that outrageous to build, actually. Could build the subfloor over there. There is this water pipe that comes down, and that's the city's water pipe, so there's no way of me messing around with that. That's a good idea, though. Thank you so much, Tyler. Ten. Uh, hey, yeah, thank you so much, Trevor. I am... Oh, thank you so much, uh, Shauna, for joining Support Brick. Uh, public access. I'm not doing public access for security reasons at this time. And also just for like the amount of time that I have in my day. Here's uh, sort of what the, the view is going to look like um, looking down at the city. So we'll have city down there. And then I'm in the works of uh, spiffying up the staircase, but that's what the staircase looks like thus far. And, yeah. Welcome all new members. Yeah, thank you so much. What's going on, everyone? The ceiling is pretty nice, hey? I was, you know what? Some people have been saying, like, uh, that I should, I should fill the ceiling. But really, when you have a look at it, it's beautiful, man. Hey? I love that. It's one of my favorite parts about this place. It's one of the selling points. Hey, thank you so much, Gavin. Sending best wishes and congratulations from Ireland. The new studio is shaping up fantastically. You bring so much joy to us all. Well, thank you so much, Gavin. I appreciate it. Yeah, so the the city, but like, um, I want to I give you a, an example as to how big the current city is. So this is where the new city will be. Um, wow, thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you so much. That is my aunt. Thank you, Auntie Tracy. Appreciate it. Wow, thank you. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> you want me to do the maracas downstairs? I don't know about that. <laughs> so, uh, so to give you an idea of how big the current LEGO city is, so you see these lines in the floor? You can see one here. And you can see another one over here, sort of where the carpet tile ends. So those are 21 feet apart. So this right here to there is 21 feet. And then uh, back here from that second line to the wall is another 21 feet. So to here, to that crack, it's 21 feet, right by my teal mini fridge here. So the current Lego, so, and, and then the width is here is 29 and a half feet. So 29 and a half feet. The current Lego city is uh, 12 feet. So if you lock in 12 feet, let's see. So 12 feet goes to, twelve feet goes to here, and the current Lego city can fit sideways in here, because the current Lego city is 23 feet, and the width of this place is 29 and a half feet. So you'd have six and a half feet of additional space on either side, and the current Lego city can fit right here. So we've got all of this space. For growth, which is bloody ridiculous. <laughs> if you ask me, it's bloody ridiculous. <laughs> to meters, I don't know the exact uh, the exact um, difference on that, but uh, it's pretty wild, man. Pretty wild. So I don't know. Uh, the The big question is: is how am I going to get enough base plates to cover it? 
<laughs> and how am I gonna how am I gonna think of enough things to cover it? But I'm really leaning toward like a giant enchanted forest. I really want to do that. I think that's gonna be a good opportunity to fill a lot of the space quite quickly. I'm hoping that I can find like four by four green plate on Bricklink for a reasonable price, and then also uh a lot of two by two brick on Bricklink for a reasonable price, and then I'll just be able to mill plate it all in like green. And also, like you say, there's an Elena, yes. Uh, an epic space for a train layout because trains can consume a lot of space. So we'll do that too. But that's why, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use all the space immediately. Remember, I was talking about like the continuous eye layout when I originally revealed this place. So there'd be like the table at the back, and then a smaller table, then a wide table, then a smaller table, then a wide table. So it'd be like a continuous capital I. And then eventually I can fill in those spots. But for now, I'll be able to like move in between. But I, I worked it out on that like spreadsheet before we uh, acquired this place to figure out exactly how it's going to work. And it's just, it's ridiculous. That's the only word I can think of. <laughs> Airport, yeah, cardio, yeah, yeah. Who's my favorite pet? That's a tough question. It's tied between Brixie and uh, Brixie. It's tied between uh, Tico and and uh, Stella. Definitely not Brixie. Uh, visit the YouTuber Brickcraft. Yeah. Put a Lego land. There you go. That's a good idea. But yeah, we can expand what we're already doing. So we can expand the amusement park. We can expand the medieval area, which I've already developed, and that's going to be part of the city. We can expand the Winter Village, which is going to be part of the city. So I've already been like coming up with all of these additional things that we can grant, uh, expand. We've got the ski slope, which can be expanded and integrated. Uh, there's the Quickie Mart, the Simpsons House, and the um, Home Alone House that can be added. And then there's also the skyscrapers that I removed, the sit complex, the, uh, the black and white one that needs to be developed into a science center. And then uh, I don't know if the Imagination Station, the colorful one, will be going back in. Thank you so much, Tracy, for upgrading the Super Brick. I uh, don't return to... No, I, I will be returning to land. Getting the sets uh, early is, is very important. Plus, like, having them in my collection is, is important, too. How many years until I run out of room? Two or three? No, no, no I don't know how many... I don't know how many uh, years it'll take. Uh, the mansion, yeah, and there's also the mansion. There you go. There's another one that I forgot about. So the mansion will be put into the city. And the mansion, that's something that's going to consume a lot of room because the mansion is going to be a private island. So I want to have the mansion. I want to put a, an island around it. So it's going to have like the beach around it and then also all sorts of palm trees and a forest going around that. And then, of course, like a boat dock and everything where people could roll up to this private island. And then I also uh, want to make that in, of course, water because it's a private island. So there's going to be like a harbor, a beach, the mansion with a private island that's on the private island, and then all of that water is sort of going to be connected. So the amount of water space is going to be ridiculous. Hey, thank you so much, Stephen S. for the heart. Tanjam, how are you? Welcome. What's going on, dude? Question, when does the friend's party slide get installed in the warehouse. You know, it, it really should be installed already. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that I haven't installed it yet. I wish we could uh, 3D print a giant, like, magenta water slide. <laughs> I think that's the color of it, isn't it? <laughs> you should put a, a lot, do a lot pet shop. We have a pet shop. <laughs> Maybe another one. Can I wait to see the beach and shipyard? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. I can't wait to get my, my beach back and my shipyard too. Should I come up here and say hello? Star Wars land. Hey, Mrs. Brixie, so a long time ago when we were um, building our amusement park, Mrs. Brixie said, you know what we should do is, is find some sort of Millennium Falcon that can, um, that is the size of the Millennium Falcon, the right scale for the one in uh, Galaxy's Edge. And so that's a good idea. And then guess what just came out? 
a Millennium Falcon that would be the right scale to put in an amusement park. You could build like a Moss Eisley and stuff with that. That's the right scale. You know, lighting would really make the parts of the city pop. I know, I know. Been a while since you uh, live stream and I uh, kept missing memory streams. Hey, what's going on, Joseph? Welcome. Planes overhead, so I gotta be a little bit careful with planes overhead because I'm gonna have an infrared heater that's gonna be running through the center and the infrared heater needs clearance. And infrared heater can guarantee melt fishing line. And the train yard, yeah, you bet. Yeah, boats will be back in the city. Too bad I took apart my boat party boat, eh? I'm actually quite high up on this ladder. You'd never know it. What's going on from the uh, 29 degree here in Australia? Wow. I'm not focusing camera. Hmm. Hey, thank you so much. Scott, he doesn't know for the super chat. Much appreciated. Uh, where were you? Uh, where will your now do your mock buildings? Will you have a separate table? I'm going to be building all my stuff upstairs. And then I will be uh, bringing it down where my full parts inventory is. I honestly don't foresee carrying large modules down a straight staircase to be very difficult. Honestly, it's probably more difficult squeaking them past my pole in the basement, the tele, tele post. But this staircase is actually quite wide. So sorry, the camera's glitch and the staircase is quite wide. I don't know how wide it is exactly. But I want to measure that actually. How many? There's my booty. Um, <laughs> I want to know how wide this is. Just because how many base plates could fit down there? Of course, I could lift it on. You should paint the air ducts like Lego bricks. I have asked about that. I'm trying to figure out the right kind of paint that would uh, stick on that. Honestly, I think uh, the vinyl option would probably be better than paint because then we could make it look better. If I painted it, it would look like crap. But if we did vinyl on the air ducts, that would be cool. So that's something I can look into as well. So the staircase is uh, 34 inches. So you got to think that's three base plates. Not very many modules will be wider than three base plates. And if they are, then I got to be the strong man and just lift them up like this, like this. <laughs> Gavin says, uh, could you add miniature Brixie studio to the new Lego city? That's a good idea. We could do that. That's a great idea. Gavin says, Ellie cat. You know what? If we were to, if we were to do something on the air ducts, I'm thinking it's got to be vinyl. That would be nice. Will it ever be open to the public? Not at this point, no. I forgot that there's drywall dust all over these stairs. You know, I was thinking of doing the vinyl back or the, the brick back on my staircase at one point. Could still do that. Remember I was thinking of using two by four bricks and putting it on the back of the staircase? That would be pretty cool. Western area, I don't think so. The thing is, is I don't have anything, anything that's going to help me build a western area. Just got to make sure my laptop still has juice here. Oh yeah, we're good. I'm going to move you over here so you can get a different perspective. If you have motion sickness, shield your eyes. There's the cabinets. And then, yeah, see, this is what we're dealing with over here. So I got them, oh, this is sketchy. I can't put my laptop down. Okay, I'll put it over here. Put it over here. There we go. Much better. So I made a weird decision here today. Let me grab my chat, my phone here. Made sort of a strange decision, but it's sort of a miscommunication between the owner of the company and uh, 
and the actual guys. So the guys doing the job. So originally I was going to take this heat vent. Hey, thank you so much, King Oldendorf. Uh, when is the Lego arriving? I don't know. <laughs> I imagine we were going to take this vent and when construction's done, whenever that may be, and we were going to feed it through the two rooms that we're standing on top of right now, and they were going to heat those two rooms because before they were running on top here and then they were also running into this vent. I said, but they actually didn't cut the right holes in the main ductwork that's in the furnace. So it's like, oh, I made it come the other way. So we'd have to like wrap it around this weird way. It's like, you know what? Just do it in the ceiling and get rid of this one because this is going into my storage room. So it's like, we don't really need a heat vent that's gonna go into the storage room. So they, uh, I just told them, just get rid of that. There's no sense in heating a room that's gonna be full of cardboard boxes and, uh, and uh, a bubble wrap, you know? There's no sense in doing that, so. So I changed that plan. Did we find the key to the roof? We did. Uh, funny story about the key to the roof. I went through about five or six different keys this morning out of their little tote. And yes, finally we found the key to the roof. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking the parts, the stairs come up right here. I think the parts are going to span this entire wall. So we're going to do parts. I'm going to do the um, the uh, IKEA Alex units all the way along. Those are like those solid white drawers that come up to about the table leg height. And then what we're going to do is put uh, the, when you have the drawers underneath, then we're going to put the tabletop on at the same height, the uh, Lindman tabletop or the leg captain tabletop. And then we're going to put the Sterilite containers on top of those, so the Sterilite containers that hold all my parts will run all the way along. And then, uh, whatever, then we can put the shelf back on top and we can put some Lego sets on top or whatever it may be, maybe like bulk storage on top of that. And the reason why, um, and the reason why I wanna put them on the tables rather than just putting the parts on top of the actual drawer units that I'm gonna put there is because then when I have my wheel table that I wheel along on there where I'm building these large modules and grabbing parts and building these large modules and those are on the wheel legs, those are gonna match up with the height of the Alex units. So those are gonna match up with the tabletop. So then I can just wheel back and forth and I think it's gonna be a pretty cool system. And then all of the stuff below in the white Alex units will be my overflow parts. So like sorted parts that I have too many of that don't fit in the Sterilite bins or it's just like all my computer stuff, all my USB extenders and all the junk, all the cables and all that stuff. So it's gonna be pretty cool when this is just like one big part system. I missed a super chat, thank you so much. Brixie, get a small RC car, add a 360 camera on top for a new city view. That would be cool, I do have a 360 camera. <laughs> Key to the roof, you used a lock pick. You should add uh, a chill area on the roof. Yeah, on the roof, oh on the roof, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, and these carpet tiles, this is enough carpet tile to do the whole space up here. I think this is 100 carpet tiles, so it's 400 square feet. I don't know what the actual size of this place. So it's 29 and a half, 29 and a half that way. And then uh, from here, I can't remember what this is. So our current space for like, uh, this is uh, 20, 19 and three quarter. So we'll call it 20, so it's 600 square feet. So our current Lego space right now is eight feet by seven. So it's, it's yeah, we're gonna have room for a couch and a TV up here and, and all that stuff. So I'm pretty excited. Sorry, you're late, no worries, what's going on? Anyone have any questions for me in regards to the new space, you let me know and uh, I'll do my best to answer those questions. I gotta meet my handyman here in 25 minutes. He's coming on over. He originally, he was like, he te I texted him, I was like, hey, the furnace is going, it's operational. And he's like, oh cool, I'll be there at 4.45. I was like, uh, 
I, I scheduled a live stream for 445 unless you want to be on it. He's like, no, I don't want to be on it. <laughs> so he'll be here. Uh, he'll be here in half an hour. <laughs> How much longer do you think you and Sue start bringing the Lego City and displaying your sets? Uh, so it comes down to two things for the Lego City. It comes down to th comes down to lots of things, uh, but the two main things that we've got to think about here is fr three main things: framing this room and putting the door in. That's the the room that's going to block the uh, enclose the furnace room. And then after that, it's finishing the staircase, but those are just like finishing carpentry stuff. The main thing that I've got to think about is the vinyl for the walls. I can't bring the Lego City in until the vinyl for the walls is applied if I decide to go that route. Or if I'm fully painting these walls, I wouldn't want my Lego to be in this room if I'm fully painting these walls. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to treat the walls. And then I also have to lay the carpet. Timeline on that is, a, is sort of a mystery at this point. Because I don't know, I don't know how how to treat the wall scenario. <laughs> I, I really don't. What's the name of the handyman, Paul? It's five thirty-six my time. You bet. Uh, I'm gonna add the tables straight away. I'm gonna build them all, and then I'm gonna build the Lego into the tables. I'm just figuring if I'm already measuring the wood, cutting the wood, you know, cutting the two by fours affiliated, cutting the, um, the malamine affiliated to, to the right size because the tables that I'm gonna build are pretty much all identical, but they're just repeated. Uh, so I may as well build them all at once or at least get all the wood ready at once. You know what I mean? Cause like, why would I wanna, you know, have the wood delivered or go get a truck that can haul the wood multiple times. So I may as well get it all done at once. And I'm just gonna get Home Depot to cut it with their giant, uh, their, their giant saw. Because I don't feel like, I know, I know, I could definitely cut it, like the big malamine sheets, but I'm gonna go in there with a list and be like, listen, I need 15 malamine sheets cut to this size and then they'll just beep, 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 and do it for me and it'll take care. But I'm probably when I build them, I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna start back here, build the long one here that's 70 inches wide. And then I'm gonna take this design and replicate it. Doot, doot, and do however many of those I can fit in here. And then what I'm gonna do is take two by fours and now I've got these big long tables that stretch the whole way they might be multiple multiple parts screwed together. I don't know yet, but they stretch the whole way. And then once they're all there, I'm gonna connect the center pieces with, well, like I'm gonna put two by fours between the tables and those are gonna connect them all and then I'll fill in the center. And then I'll do the same on the exterior. So it's probably what's gonna go down. Maybe try not to change up the Lego City layout too often this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much is the vinyl approximately? Uh, I don't know if I want to disclose that. It's a big number though. Take what you think and probably times it by five. <laughs> Depending on what you're thinking, I guess. Hey, thank you so much, Sandrine. Kisses from France. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> This is the assistant Simon Real, yes. I would not let Home Depot. Ah, Home Depot is generally pretty good. They're on their big flat saws, and I'll be there double checking their measurements. But what I got to do is it's seven base plates, so I got to get the exact measurement of seven base plates. It's not 70 inches, it's 70.7 inches or whatever it is, because each base plate is 10.1 inches. I'm going to make sure I get it done right. 20K. No, it's not 20K. It's over 10 between those two numbers, but I don't really know yet. <laughs> Will you have a uh, dedicated area for the twins to play? Uh, upstairs, I hope to have the upstairs kid-friendly couch, TV. I hope to have that kid-proofed. 100K times five, there you go. 
One million. No, yeah, it's like it's like uh, Doctor Evil. Thank you so much once again, Gavin. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you going to frame up over the ducting? I might get the ducting. I haven't decided yet. I just put all new ducting in. <laughs> so if I frame it, then there's not really a point of me putting the new ducting in. It does look pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, the basement will be for Millie and Benjamin, yeah. It's going to be for the whole family. You need to rig up a multi-camera system. For this live stream, yeah, I mean, it's pretty helter-skelter right now. I don't really have desks or anything. So, it's pretty helter-skelter. I just got, like, uh, a little camera there. Simon will be helping out when he has, uh, when he has time. He's uh, a pretty advanced like university classes right now so only when he's like totally totally fine school is number one for him is this building a lease or do i own it i did buy it yes that's sort of why it took me longer than i originally anticipated because i thought i was going to do this last february but just the logistics of everything all right, take care, Trevor. You have a good night, man. Same to you, Kellyanne. The logistics of everything didn't really work out for that. So, How big is the medieval area? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty big right now. So it'll probably be similar to what it is now, but it'll be more condensed, and it'll be part of that giant forest. So that giant forest is probably going to be like 40, 50 base plates. Is Simon be working? Is he doing spring break? I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a bit. I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe. You need to zip line. Zip line across the studio. Goodness. I'm getting hot in here now that this furnace is going. I'm going to have to turn the heat down. What do I, what do I think about Toronto? I think Toronto's a big city in Canada. <laughs> Is there going to be a subway system? Yes. Yes, I've been hoping to, uh, to make a subway system. See you later, Carter C. A zip line across the Lego studio. That sounds dangerous. I don't know. I'd have to pull a permit for that. <laughs> zip line over the city. I need a new insurance policy. Ski hill up to the roof. That sounds dangerous too. I don't know how I'd work on that. I need a scissor lift just to work on it. Thank you, Lit Brick. What's going on? Fire pole. Now that's an idea. The only way you can go down the fire pole though is if you're wearing suspenders with no shirt on. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, go to your gradures. Uh oh. Uh, what part of the city going to getting redeveloped first? The forest. Uh, the modular, yeah, everything sort of needs to be redeveloped. I don't really know. I think the forest is going to be the biggest expansion area because it's going to, like, I'm going to condense the forest in the medieval area altogether. Yeah, I need some water. Some water, I'm parched. I don't know if I have water down there. I'm going to go find some. <laughs> Parched, I tell you. So you look at the shiny new ducting, though. Where's the jacuzzi going to go? No jacuzzi here. I'm sure there'll be lots of <laughs> rooftop swimming pools one day, though. <laughs> Somebody did suggest that I put it, take one of the bathrooms and put a shower in. I was like, I don't know if we need a shower. Hope I change the locks. No, why would I do that? <laughs> That's not a standard procedure, is it? <laughs> I don't even know if I have any water in this godforsaken place here. Just kidding. It's not a godforsaken place. I don't have any water. And you can't drink the tap water in this building. 
That's why I have my big blue jug here, though. This has water in it. My camping jug. Mm. Gatorade. Have you built any cars from Block Zone? No, I haven't. Now we can't have an airport. If I decide to build an airport, you bet. No hot tub? I don't know. Uh, what about bridges? So yeah, that's something we could do is rather like when we have this big continuous eye uh, layout, rather than connecting it like with more tables, I could put bridges in, like big truss bridges, similar to, similar to the ones that you see in um, like Brick World displays. What's my favorite donut? That's tough. I generally like 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 hand, like really good, like cookies and cream donuts. They're delicious. Cause I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of Oreos. <laughs> and Oreos mural with Yari's signature and in 99, I don't know about that. Head to bed there. All right, Gavin, you take care. Thank you so much for coming on by, man. Pineapple on pizza, absolutely. There is no other answer than yes. You should add Radiator Springs Desert Area. That's a cool idea. I like that. We're going to bring you back downstairs. And then uh, my buddy Paul is coming over and we're going to work on some stuff in the studio here. Can I comment regarding insurance? Yeah, I have a full policy for all of my Lego and for all of my liability for making videos. Got two separate insurance policies. And in the uh, coverage policy for uh, the Lego, I also have covered things like the furnace, the lighting, the radiant heating, and all of that. So I have two uh, insurance policies for the business, you bet. Yeah. Or their sports stadium. Have you seen their stadium? That would be a difficult task. I don't know if I have, I don't know how I would make that. <laughs> What's my favorite NFL team? I don't have one. <laughs> uh, the snow is, is melting away, yes. The snow is definitely melting away. Pineapple on ice cream. That I've never tried. It sounds delicious, though. I love pineapple. Have you talked about why there is no video today? Uh, I was just super busy yesterday. Um, I sold like 400 items on Whatnot yesterday, and the stream was like five and a half hours, and then I shipped 120 parcels. So I was just super busy yesterday. Plus, there's just some logistics of setting that up. So I just, for some reason, didn't have it in me. Not for some reason, but I just, I don't know, I worked like 10 hours yesterday, and I couldn't. I couldn't find the, the strength to film the video on top of all that. So that's why there's no, no video. But there will be a video tomorrow. Why a furnace and radiant heat? So the furnace does the front rooms. The radiant heat will do the back bay. But the furnace does the, uh, the front rooms that we're currently standing on top of. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Gorilla Tube. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. I just wanted to uh, take you for a personal tour here live on the channel. It's the first live stream that I've been able to do in this place. Uh, eventually, we're going to be doing some more regular uh, live streams. And uh, I'll actually be building Lego during those live streams, I hope. Uh, I just wanted to say hello for the day. And uh, I'm going to continue with construction in 10 minutes, but I figured I better. Uh, my land subsension is over in May. No echo in the mic I'm using? All right. Uh, when is your Lego streaming building, dude? Uh, whenever I get around to actually build them. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned for more, for more construction updates on this place. I'm hoping we can get it done in about two weeks or so. Maybe, maybe by the end of April, I mean by the end of March. 
And then when we get into to April, we can actually start moving Lego in and uh, start constructing the Lego city and, and bringing in tables and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so thank you everybody. Thank you for coming on by. I was glad I was to, able to uh, just inform you about everything. I hate to leave a thousand people here, but I've got to I've got to meet up with uh, my handyman. So him and I are going to take care of some business here. So thank you so much as always. Please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. Farewell. Thanks. We'll chat soon. <laughs>